Hi, welcome back to EducateTube.com. My name is Sipsky, your host. In this video, I'll be showing you how I take a broken LED light bulb and convert into a LED light source powered by lithium battery, as you can see here. This is a 7.4 volt. I can also plug in a 12 volt and I will have a very bright LED light. Inside this broken LED light bulb, you can see there's four modules of these LED panels which you can use to make four LED light source. Let's talk about it right now. All right, so you have this broken LED light bulb and when you remove the plastic covering Usually it's plastic, sometimes it will be glass, so be careful with glass when you take it out. But this one is a plastic, so it's pretty safe. Once you take it out, you can see that we have these uh, four LED panels. Now, different uh, LED light bulbs will have a different setup, but this one has four LED light bulbs. Another one that I have is this one here, which has only one set of LED light panel. However, uh, as you can see, it's quite bright as well. If I plug into my 7.4 volt lithium batteries. Let me show you right now. There we go. You can see it can become a flashlight. This is not as bright because it's using only 7.4 volt lithium batteries. Now if I put it on to a um, 12 volt system, let me see if I can get a 12 volt, yeah. A 12 volt, this is actually 11.1 .1 volt lithium uh, battery system. Uh, when you charge it, it will go all the way to 12.8, but even at 11.1 .1 volt, it's still good enough. Okay, watch this. When I plug it in, it's super bright. There we go. Look at how bright it is. It's amazingly bright. So you can do that. This broken LED light bulb, once you take out the module, the LED panel, you're able to have a very bright LED flashlight powered by a 11.1 .1 volt lithium battery or 7.4 volts. So it has these two options. What I usually do is normally it's, uh, plug into 7.4 if I wanted more lower light source. So for example, use as a night light or when it's really dark, this is great. But if I want it super bright, I'll plug it into 11.1 .1 volt battery system, lithium battery system, and it'll be super bright. Okay. Now let me show you right now how I actually uh, take it apart. This particular light bulb. First step, of course, is to remove this plastic. And then, of course, you want to get the uh, LED light panels. There's four in this, this type of uh, LED light bulb. And you would cut the wiring. And then make sure you test the positive-negative terminal so you know how to connect them and solder in. Once you do that, you're able to uh, make an LED light system. For example, I never throw any type of reusable plastic. Like this one is actually from a piece of battery system that I have and it's this rectangular plastic system. What I do is I take this rectangular uh, plastic and put in the um, copper sink. This is just basically a copper uh, plate cut into rectangular shape and I place it onto the plastic. Usually I would uh, hot glue it. Okay and then I will take this cut LED panel that I got from a broken LED light bulb and I'll put it like that. Okay and then I'll glue that in and what happened is when it gets really hot, the um, copper uh, plate will dissipate the heat and allows it to run for a long period of time without overheating or without melting the plastic. So that's how I do it. And usually when you use a 7.4 volt, you wouldn't have any heating problem anyway. In fact, just using a plastic is fine. It's only when you're using a 11.1 .1 volt lithium battery when it will encounter a lot of heat and so you will need that copper plates, right, to kind of dissipate the heat and it'll be fine. For example, here, let me show you again. This system here is so bright. Look at that. It's super hot. Uh, if I go, well, it's not super hot, but it's, I can feel the heat coming, right? Um, if I put my hand near the uh, LED light, you can get, you might even get burned, okay? So that's why it's important that you have a way to dissipate the heat. This one, this particular LED light bulb actually has a metal casing so all the heat is dissipated along this metal groove right there's many me metal groove along this LED light bulb so it can handle that kind of heat system from the LED lights which is super bright so 11.1 .1 volt lithium battery 
powering this broken LED light bulb. So very useful. Look at how small it is. I can be carrying in my hand like this, and there we go. There is a very powerful LED light or uh, flashlight, right? So very useful uh, application because you have this broken LED light bulb lying around and you know you want to throw it away but actually inside this component there's so many things uh, there's they may even be a component that I, I will talk about in the future that it has an AC 120 volt convert into a uh, DC 12 volt uh, around uh, 500 milliamp to almost uh, 1000 milliamp okay system so basically it is able to convert from the AC 120 volt to 12 volt DC almost 1000 milliamp uh, this current system okay so so many components here you can be using it as long as you test it out making sure that none of them is broken but uh, yeah usually it's the light bulb that's broken or the module inside the converter the AC to DC that's broken so if you're able to test both of them one of them will be working and you, you will be saving a lot of money in fact it's a very easy project to do Next time I'll show you how to convert from AC to DC using the light bulb like this one here, okay? But that'll be in the future. Have a look at the video attached to this, how I go through the whole process. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and give me a little heart appreciation. Thank you. Bye.